Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm going to be doing a really small haul for you guys. I actually went shopping over the weekend and I bought a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's get started. I want to start with beauty products because I had to go to Sephora to restock one of my concealers. I haven't had a reason to go into Sephora in a really long time. So I was just really excited to even just go in there and know what I want because Sometimes I go in there and I spend just like unnecessary time just walking around just looking at like all the things I can't afford, you know what I mean? I bought my concealer and then I was just like walking around aimlessly again and I actually found stuff that I wanted. So first off, I restocked on my Naked Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and I actually got this in a shade lighter, I think. I got it in medium dark the first time but now I got it in medium just because I really like that highlighted look and I felt like the medium dark was too close to my skin color so I wanted something lighter and I ran out of my first concealer so I had to get another one. So the day that I went to Sephora I actually packed all my makeup in a bag to do in the car and I forgot my brow brush so I had to use like the thickest eyeshadow brush ever and it was so annoying and then I was thinking like maybe I should check out the Brow Wiz by Anastasia because I feel like it's so convenient and you don't have to have, like bring around two parts like it's just one thing so I got it and I got it in dark brown and I can definitely say it's really life-changing I usually use the dip brow and it takes a lot of concentration to get your eyebrows perfect with the dip brow I've actually started to use this and the dip brow just on the outer parts of my eyebrow when I don't want to wear like a full face of makeup, I will just use this on my brows and it makes them look really, really natural. And the last thing I got from Sephora is probably my favorite of all of these. It is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. This is in the color Ashton and it is so pretty. When I put it on, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect shade for me. It kind of like brought out my blush, so it just made it all like flow together. I don't know. I'm going to swatch it for you guys really quick. I really can't say enough good things about this product because the formula is amazing. I bought so many liquid lipsticks from ColourPop and their formula is a little bit drying obviously because it's matte lipstick, but this one's matte without feeling extremely drying. And I'm pretty sure they just started selling these in Sephora, so definitely go to your Sephora and check them out because this color is amazing and they have so many other colors that weren't there at the time. I think they were like sold out. So I'm definitely gonna go back and look at them because I'm obsessed. So for recruitment, we have to wear specific things. So they give us like a list of things that you need to like find or if you have it, then that's great. But I had to get these sandals. So I was really happy that I was forced to buy them because it makes it easier to justify. These are on sale for $50 and I'm pretty sure the original price of these was 100. So yeah. It was insane and I really really like it obviously it does kind of blend in with my skin tone but I do still like the style and the quality is really good it kind of has like a little bit of a squishy padding which I really like too and I got them at Bloomingdale's in their sale section I finally bought my first Lush bath bombs it smells so good I'm really excited to use it because my dad just got a new bathtub and it's really cool because he has like a TV like on that side so you can like bathe and watch TV. I did it yesterday. I watched The Hills. It was amazing. And now I have a bath bomb to use, so I'm really excited about that. I also got this one. I think this one's called Big Blue, if I'm not mistaken. And I feel like this one's going to be like really, really pretty once you drop it in. I honestly feel like they are a little bit overpriced because I've seen so many DIYs about them, but I've never gotten them before, so I really wanted to just like try it out before I ever made my own. So then I found out that Victoria's Secret was discontinuing their swimwear. What? Are you kidding me? I literally buy like majority of my swimsuits from Victoria's Secret. Since I am a little bit more busty, it just helps to have like so much padding and underwire supporting me in the swimming pool so it doesn't like fly off or anything. And in store, I think their sale was 40% off or 20% off or something like that. I think it was 40 because I remember it being like, oh my God, that's like insane. And they also have a sale going on online too. I actually just put up a blog post about it. So definitely go check that out. I will link that down below. It's not like shitty ones that they're trying to get rid of. It's still cute ones and they're on sale for so cheap. So definitely go check that out. I can't really show it right now because it's actually soaking wet. I just used it for Memorial Day weekend. So I'm just gonna put a picture here or you can check out my blog post and you can see it on there. So the last store I went to was Forever 21. Most of the time I shop online just because it just looks so much better on them. But 
sometimes that doesn't always work out because you actually have to try them on. I always end up returning like majority of the clothes I get. So I decided to just go in the store and my store is not that great here at Lenox Mall. It is so unorganized. They need to get their shit together. At the Florida Mall, oh my God, their Forever 21 is goals and it's just amazing. So I just really wanna go back there and shop, but I can't, I'm so far away. But anyways, first I got this top right here. It's like a boat neck kind of thing. It just like comes on your shoulders like this and it's just like flowy kind of ruffly shirt. I want to wear this like with skinny jeans and some brown wedges. I think that'd be so cute. Then I got this tunic. I actually wore this on Memorial Day and it was just so nice because it's so flowy. You can just wear a bralette with it and you won't be like super hot in the summer. And I love these little pom-pom tassel things because it makes it like more bohemian. Then I got this simple tank top. I just really wanted more tops just to wear with shorts on a normal summer day. And I think this is really cute because the back has those little pom-pom tassel things. It's not cropped, it's pretty long, and it was $15, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. And the last clothing piece I got is this dress, and I really love these necklines for some reason. I think it makes me look a little bit more flat-chested, and I like that because I'm a little busty and sometimes my boobs make me look really fat. So this is just like a shift dress, and it's just flowy at the bottom. And I don't know, this pattern was kind of cool and it, I could definitely wear it to like fancier events. So I got that. So that was it of my haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I know it was super short, but I wanted to share all these things that I bought with you guys. So if you guys liked this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.